Hello Pro Traders, welcome to my channel, it's Queen of GW Pro and in today I will be sharing with you setups which I have for Friday and also wrap up the week with you guys. Alright, so let's go ahead and see what we wanted to do in the week. Alright, so in the week um, we also wanted to short yesterday, we looked for an opportunity to short yesterday the gold, alright, because of this structure here and we also saw that gold was not able to make that rise um drop as we anticipated from this point which we wanted to see a break and i couldn't stay longer in that structure more than the asian session so whenever i had price coming down breaking the structure i was able to get out on a small amount of loss all right so we also had gold moving from that point up and you can see that gold is going crazy this morning all right ahead of london session so all right so with that we're just going to look at opportunities we also have in the london session and how i intend to approach this one all right so taking also a dive at the dxy all right so that's why also didn't make uh, much of a push all right as we expected to see yesterday but however we also have that previous structure here previous resistance here was not taken out yesterday so we also have price trading in the lower low lower high lower low you see this moved a little bit down than the lower than the previous um, structure there so you can see lower low and then we can have this to be our lower high and we could be on our way into making lower lows since price is making a series of lower lows and lower highs all right all right so we just go take that out then look at what also we have from the setup here all right so we have that gold so far has moved in the day 50 percent from previous um daily close all right so that's more 50 percent from yesterday as well all right so we go look at um other things also we've also seen that the usd card has also dropped 15 percent from um opening price all right but having traded inside of this zone so it's all the possibility we could be looking for an opportunity to dive in here all right so we also have it that price could be um correcting of some sort all right or making a new stru strong move right so we're not going to be looking at um that but rather we're going to be looking to do what the market is doing all right so we're just going to go ahead put up the line there and then see we just parallel that all right, and we'll just parallel that and um, let's see. Let's parallel that. So we can see that um, market is actually trading outside of the range. Okay, so outside of the range, we have market trading there. So we have this small consolidation here. And um, we have that small consolidation there. All right, and price is staying there, right? Price having to um, bounce right that area there so you can see that price dead inside of that zone so what is it going to be it's going to be a break to the upside or a continuation to the downside all right so that's what we're going to be saying all right so we just need to wait for this one if there's a break below all right we can wait for a retest and then you can continue writing this one down for the day all right so we just take a look at what is also happening on the euro okay so euro this morning had a quick breakout all right what rather than what i was expecting so i have just a couple of minutes before um i could also start um coming to taking trade decisions okay so i have about um an hour 45 minutes right before i can start taking my trend decision all right because i like taking my trend decisions in the london session all right so i don't take trades before the session all right i can actually come in and put it a pending order but i don't take trades before the session because most times other than not price tends to play um before the session okay so price tends to play can you know move up in any direction all right before the session but in the session price tends to follow the structures that was set 
all right before the session so i don't i don't open um threats before the session all right and i don't open threats at the end of the session all right it's wrong to do so so you can't be opening threats at this point okay rather you're already in the session so you want to trade in the asian session say from here up you can trade from here up to here all right and similar to this one you can be opening buy trades here or sell positions here all right so you can be waiting for Asian sessions to take you up and you can find a valid entry say here or here in the session all right and then you can look for entries to short all right so i don't trade this setup here so what i'm waiting for i'm going to be putting up a pending orders all right if price could drop back all right in the session i would then look to buy in the session all right so we go look at um also the gbp usd this one here is what i want to trade today all right i want to trade this one today and this guys is um what i'm in love with okay so i'm in love with this one and as you can see also in its previous makeup it's really nice all right it's really nice having broken out this point here all right broke up to down upside then we had also price drop back into that zone then we could expect that from that point we can have market going up in that direction all right so what i'm going to be waiting to do i'm going to be waiting here to see if price could break this structure here so we have previous structure there as you can see nicely so i'll be waiting for price to take out any of those structures in the session and then that's when i'm going to come in and then take that trend decision as well all right so we just go um deep a little bit so let's see if we are going to take um a trade on a pending buy stop all right we're just going to go put pending buy stop there 1.380 okay so we're going to put it here all right we're going to put it here 1.3809 all right 1.381 was also cool for a pending buy stop we're going to put it there so we're going to be looking at risking up to the previous low 34 pips and let me just go see what our target will look like because at the moment we also have it that price have been trading inside of this channel without a cease so we just have to plug in into what is happening so our target is going to be the previous high all right so when i'm drawing a trend line all right, so I'm, I, I, I want to see multiple touches. All right, so I want to see multiple touch on my trend line as well. So you can see that I want to see multiple touch. So we also had multiple touch of that trend line. And previously we had touch here. We had it touch here, so touch there. So I want to see price come back into the territory of the one point. 3880. Alright, so I want to see price coming to 1.388. Alright, so that's what I want to see price do. So I'm going to just go over and then put that up nicely as well. And then that's going to be my target. So let's just go ahead and see what that could um what that could provide for us in terms of um risk to reward. I'm gonna do that all right 1.381. I'm going to target 670 pips, 69, say 70 pips plus um, take or give spread. All right, risk is going to be down there, 34 pips. All right, so last one is a two, so it could be also a good trade. All right, similar to this one, we'll just dive in ahead and then see what is also happening with some sentiment pace. Some sentiment pace are also good. So we'll dive in on this one and this one is also a good one to take a long trip all right having consolidated inside of this zone all right so here we have the nzd and we had it at price then stayed in this zone so we had we have a possible breakout so we can then also continue riding the market in the direction so nzd is also a cool one you can um, continue doing so and then you can also continue doing so all right so for this one we also have it that um i expect price to still continue making up rises up to um previous high here looking at a possible double bottom 
inside of here all right so if i'm looking at the possible double, double bottom inside of here we could as well see that price could make a rush into this territory and then we can re-evaluate the situation from that point on all right so you can also see that also this territory is also a good one all right so we can do that all right so let's just go ahead and look at um other things we have on the list all right so we can look at um the next one we also have on the list and um how i intend to approach this one on the current trading day all right so yesterday we also had it that um card jpy broke out of this structure yesterday all right so card jpy broke out of this structure here as we're looking to see and we have it that price is currently trading above that structure there all right having contracted here so we had a breakout so we're looking to still continue what is also happening with the current trend all right so we're looking at continue what is happening with the current trend so if you're looking at that one you can look to take a buy position there all right so i would rather i'm going to be looking at this one more we we'll are looking at this one more, the AD ADCHF, all right? We've been trading inside of this channel for quite a while now, and I expect it to still continue, all right? Having resistance here, support here, resistance here, so we could be facing another support in here, so we could also um, be looking to move upside <clears throat> with that one. All right, so we take a little look at the... AED card. All right, so AED card is also looking this good. All right, this morning for a buy trade, having contracted here, and we're looking at what is currently a breakout at this point. So we could be looking at a little retracement and a continuation to the upside as to riding the market along with the current trend. All right. So here with this one. You can see that there was a contraction here and we also have it that price could also further make up rises into an attempt to take out this previous structure right so we're gonna um, put that up right for two levels we're gonna look at take profit one take profit one so we're gonna do that all right so we can see that it's creating an impulse okay so we're gonna do that so we we'll look at that 456 pips and that's wonderful similar to this one as well all right all right so the NZD is also bouncing in between two trend lines all right so we can see that bouncing between two trend lines all right the 55 and also the 200 all right so we have it that price is there in there so which is going to be going to be a drop to the downside it's going to be a breakout depending by stop could be here they can continue riding that up all right so let's take a little peek at also the gpch because this one looks to very much interest me as well so whenever a price is then ready to make a move right so for this one here yesterday we also see that end in the week we've seen price tread inside of a small structure such as this all right so we've not really seen uh momentum but rather we've seen price make a high on monday tuesday wednesday thursday so if we could be looking at a breakout from this one i think i want to see price break previous structure uh, rather than just take a trade here all right so it's possible so we want to see price break this structure and remember we also have it that we want to see price continue upward but this one all right turn into reversal after completing the pattern which you want to see as well all right so we had the a b c d then we have the e here all right so if this is complete we want to see reversals
okay so the GPCHF looks just like this this morning and we could also see that price have been making series of higher highs higher lows so we have it that price did make an ABC for an ABC all right so we had C here and we had a little correction here so we have E here so it's left for us to see what next could be of price okay so if you're looking at this as an ABC we want to see what could happen all right could price be able to stay up and then continue another run all right we want to see that we want to see confirmations guys we want to see confirmations we want to see reasons to be able to take a trade all right so we had so at the moment we're having price correcting in this small um wage all right so the falling wage so you are seeing price correcting inside of the structure so we're only waiting for a breakout all right we're waiting for a breakout but a break below a break below 1.2623 and a daily close below that structure will signal a drop okay will signal a drop will signal a drop All right, so yesterday I gave out a trade signal that um, we could go long on the GBP. All right, here we're seeing that we're still in profit with that one, also with the Euro card. All right, so we're still in profit with that one. Price having broken out the structure, so we're seeing that everything is cool for that one. So all we want to do is to continue riding the pair to the upside and then catching those stiff with it. All right. So with that, I wrap up this session and I'm going to be back with pre-market analysis also on Sunday. Stay glued to this channel, subscribe and also turn on the notification bell so you can get any information whenever I post content such as this one. All right. See you next time.